Hey, what's going on, TNT here. We're back again playing some more Grounded. So today I want to do a short video just talking about how to upgrade your armor and your uh, tools and weapons inside Grounded. So first thing you have to get is the smithing station in order to unlock this. Now the recipe for this, I believe, isn't too bad. Actually, we can do it from our build menu here. Uh, yeah, so you can see it there. I uh, just need some brittle quartzite, brittle marble, crude rope, and sap. Um, I'll show you all where you can find the brittle quartzite shards, brittle marble. But this is what you'll need to kind of get started. And you'll need your tools or weapons. I got some tier three stuff going on here just to show you that. We got the assassin stuff, which is pretty neat. But uh, yeah, we'll kind of get started here. So first thing you want to do once you get this is you can select any weapon you want. Now, I got a few different weapons here. I, I picked a level one weapon, so I can show you that. But I also have the tier threes as well. So once you selected a weapon, you'll see me need this brittle uh, whetstone here. Now, it does say zero to zero. However, this uh, goes up as you do your upgrade. So first one, I believe, is two. And then it uh, multiplies from there. Um, as you go up in the stages so you can see it adds uh five percent bonus damage and five percent durability on the first one then you go to 10 15 20 25 you get to level four once you get to level five you'll have a few options so you can either go with uh with your fresh which gives you fresh damage you can go with your salty you can go with your spicy or your actual sour so this is all your candy damages that you can upgrade path or you can go mighty now mighty just gives another bonus to your damage and durability and see there if you go to the spicy path it does or sorry the uh candy path it only gives you plus 30 whereas this one will go all the way up gives you 35. um so you can keep upgrading there you'll need mighty globs at this point and so i should show you so to get the first things um if you look in here i'll kind of show you what you need so to start out you'll need some of this, these brittle whetstones so you can see there now, when you first start out, you'll only be able to use the brittle quartzite shards in order to craft these. But after you un go through the quest and get some of the burgle chips, you actually unlock this recipe here. that lets you craft them from sap and larva spikes. Now, again, this isn't available right away. This will be available later in the game once you've uh, found a few of the burgle chips and turn them in. And then after you go through the brittle, like I said, your next path here, we go back to this larva spike, will be your mighty globs. So we're just going to go the mighty path here. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to apply this? Yes, we do. So we'll go there and we'll apply. So we got level six mighty now. So we can go to seven. And now after seven, you need mighty jewels. So we'll kind of come up here and I'll show you what mighty jewels look like. Um, and you can see them right here. So they're supreme whetstones and twinkling stars. Or sorry, twinkling shells. Um, so you have to get the supreme type, which I'll show you that as well. So you need these supreme quartzite shards. And then again... In order to craft these, you'll need to unlock this recipe later in the game. I do believe this one's like very, very late game to get the Supreme. I think you have to beat like the last boss to unlock this recipe. So it's very late game to be able to craft these on your own. So you're going to have to find these uh, Supreme Quartzite Shards. Again, we'll look at those a little later. I'll show you some locations I found some of this stuff at. And then same thing for the plating. We'll get to that once we get to armor. Um, like I said, you got your jewels. And you also have these sturdy uh, whetstones as well. So these take the sturdy Quartzite Shards. And then the... Uh, and then you can make them there with the spider fangs and the sap. Again, this recipe you unlock later in the game once you unlock it from the Brickle Quest. And then for these jewels, you need this Supreme Whetstone. So we talked about Twinkling Shells. Twinkling Shells you're going to have to find from Scarabs that are in the upper yard. And number two here, you can see this takes your Sturdy Whetstone. So there is level three of these jewels. And then just for your globs, it just takes the, the Sturdy. And the Sturdy, again, is going to be with your Sturdy Quartzite Shards. And we'll, we'll kind of show you. You can see it makes all your different kind globs you need. That's where you'll need to upgrade. Oh, where's it at? Here, your mighty jewels. And then if you didn't go the, if you didn't go with the mighty path, you would need to use the other globs in order to go through your second path. But we, once we upgrade this with your jewels, you can take it all the way up, and then you get to your level nine, which this gives you plus sixty-five percent damage. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get another lava blade just to go ahead and show you all the difference between uh, some of this stuff here. So we'll go ahead and grab that real quick. All right, so we got our another larva blade here. So we'll show you the kind of same thing. Same thing, you start out at the brittle, go all the way up until you get to level five. Then here, this is where you need, like I said, the different globs. Um, so you'll need your globs first. So you can go to your salt, your spice, or your sour. So if we go to sour, we're going to say yes on that when you make our sour globs. This will become sour, and uh, we can upgrade this all the way. Again, you'll need, once you get to level seven, to go from there to level eight, you'll need your your jewels. Then you can go from there, you get only level 9, and you can see it only does plus 45 damage, plus 45 durability. If we look at our other one here, all right, so I've created another one here. So you do, it is, but it's plus 65. So there's kind of a difference between the two. I'm um, with the damage difference between that, but you end up getting the candy flavor on it. 
All right, so same kind of deal here. We'll just look at some of these tools now. The reason I'm running to bring some of these, if you do like your spicy coltana and you go to upgrade this, so you can see there, it's gonna be kind of the same deal. And you go through your regular brittle whetstone, you're gonna go to your mighty globs, which you need the uh, the sturdy whetstones to make. And do those and then you'll do your jewels. Then you see here, this path, will, you'll only be able to go mighty with this. And the reason being is because this is already has the uh, spicy damage. So you can't actually apply an uh, enhancement to it because it's already got that. Same thing if we're looking at the mint or the salt morning star here. Uh, same thing, you can go through the path here, but as soon as you get to five, you just have to keep going mighty. And you go up to that 65% on both of those. And then your mint mace as well. Again, you can only upgrade this into your regular path. Uh, and no, you can't change any effects. This already has, this already has the fresh damage on it. And uh, this is another tier through weapon. So this is the, the tick weapon here. Pretty good weapon. And again, we'll just show, just show you. It's the same thing for a tier three weapon as this for a tier one. So you go through your brittle path. Once you get to level five, you'll need to select your path. Again, you can select any one of these that you want. Um, you get your mighty globs there. And then you can say yes. And then you go up, same deal here for your mighty. So that gets you up to 65%. So that's all your tools. Kind of how do you upgrade them again? Uh, if you look in here, you can see all of, so there's your brittle whetstones. Again, you'll need these quartzite shards. You go on to your sturdies. You'll need the sturdy quartzite shards to make your globs here. I don't know why it puts these before it puts these. It seems like it makes more sense to put these first, but anyway, because uh, these technically make this, but yeah, they have it weird. And then again, you need Supreme in order to make your tier three mighty jewels and things like that, because there's tier two here and there's a tier three up here, so... And you also need the candy pieces, so you can see here, you need to get your spicy shards, you'll need your sour lumps, and you'll need your mint shards or your salt shards in order to make those, along with your sturdy uh, whetstones there. So the next thing we'll do is move on to armor. Armor's pretty easy. I uh, can see here, you got your brittle plating. You use that, you'll go uh, five different paths here, and then you have, you can collect it, you can do it there bulky, or you can do sleek. So sleek, you can see you get an extra little bit of crits done there. Um, bulky, you'll just get an additional defense. So if we go the bulky path here and go all the way up and then there again, you go plus 65. We'd go to another one of these and we decide to go the same path, but we go with the, um, the stylish, you get the plus crits done there. So you get an extra effect onto your armor. And instead of 65, it's only gonna go up to 45%. So you lose that plus 25% there, but you do get an additional effect. So you can kind of figure out how you want to go that path, you know, depending on your play style. And uh, yeah, that's how you do your armor. Again, this is a, the same here. You need your brittle plating. You do your sturdy plating. And again, this is the same, so you don't need to do any kind of globs or anything like that, different kind of effects. It's just gonna be your plating there. And again, the plating, we'll look at it here. First, I'll start with your plating. You'll need the brittle marble shards. And then eventually you'll unlock this recipe to craft them. You need sap and grub hide. Um, from there, you can move on to your sturdy plating. You can you need your sturdy marble shards, and then you need sap and ladybug parts in order to craft those. And then your supreme plating, you need the supreme marble shards, and then to craft that, you'll need ladybird shells, which is the better ladybirds or ladybugs, and then you need sap as well on that one. So now I'll kind of go, there's some few locations around the map um, that are easy to find, like early quartzite stuff in the marble. So I'll show you all that really quick. So you kind of have an idea of where to go early game to get yourself started with some of the uh, some of the quartzite shards and things. All right, so when you first go to fix the Mysterium machine, you'll go inside this cave here and uh, you'll want to destroy the mites on these wires. But if you keep going through this cave at the very back here, yeah, these guys aren't touching me because I got been creative, but uh, you'll see you can get all the way back here. Is this going to be unlocked? Okay, there's rocks. So you'll crush these rocks here. You can use a regular hammer for this. So I'm using the tier three, but you can use a base hammer. Um, that's what I did my playthrough, but you can bust all these. Get back here, and then you can see you actually have some uh, sturdy marble back here. And there was, I thought it was a quartzite. Yeah, here's quartzite, right? So you have some sturdy stuff right here. Again, this is level two, um, but this is one location you can get it. You got a scab in here as well. Once you break that sturdy marble, it didn't take too much. You'll see there you get the sturdy marble. And you actually get some brittle in here too, but again, you'll need the tier two hammer um, to break these. So you can't break them with your first off hammer. I just want to let you know this location was close to the start there. Now we're going to go to another location, which has some of the brittle stuff that you can actually break. And that's going to be inside the anthill. All right. So once you come into the anthill, you'll come down this little area with the red grass and you have the, the milk molar here. You follow this path up here and around this corner, 
you'll find yourself there is uh, some brittle quartzite. Again, you can break that with your tier one hammer. Uh, let's see, where'd my... So again, it doesn't take much to break it there and you'll get your uh, brittle quartzite shards. And then over here, there's a piece of marble right on this corner. Again, there's a bunch in here, but I just wanted to show off what kind of these look like. So there's your brittle marble. And then there is some chunks of this laying on the ground as well that you can find different locations as you're walking around here. So there's your brittle marble shards. Again, there's more of this all over. Uh, here's some more here. And this is all the tier one. So this is a really good place to go when you start the game um, to go and get some of this stuff right away to get your armor at least upgraded at level five. And then from there, you can kind of branch out some other places. I'm not going to take you to another place that uh, has... Oh, there's a scab. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to take you to another place that has some of the uh, the higher tiered resources, uh, the Supreme. All right, for the last place I'm going to show off to you, if you go to over to... If you're going to the hedge, this is kind of... Usually I make my base around here. So when you're walking the hedge, you kind of pass this spot. But right here, I'm um, kind of in this little like area here, you'll see a leaf. And if you go down below that leaf, you can go down here. And this, uh, this will lead you through a few things here, a little bit of a tunnel. And I think there's like a, a, a scab in here, a scab in here too. Yeah, right there. So there's a scab in here, and uh, this is actually how you get to the foliage clover to get the um, one of the mutations, the coupe de grass. And then there it is. There, so there's a mutation. There's a foliage clover, but also in here, this is where you can find um, stage threes, the supreme quartzite, supreme marble, and also some of your regular stuff. So this is a really good place to come as well. You got some of your first tier one stuff, so you can come in here and get a bunch of that. And then it is actually a place to locate these tier three resources. If you're looking for some or you're, you need a few and you never came back here. Yeah, look at that. You got quite a few here. I think was that four chunks there. Oh, three. We got three is Supreme and then some Sturdy and some regular ones there too. So that's not too bad at all. Again, we'll go ahead and break this Supreme Marble here. And you can see we get quite a bit of that and you get again some of the sturdy ones you get it looks like six sturdy or no we got three of the sturdies plus the uh, regular ones so that's pretty good so three of each in there so that's pretty nice and then you get the regular ones as well so yeah we'll go back and uh, i'll show you kind of how you can craft some of this stuff up all right so once you uh, have your shards you just come in your inventory you have to do it at a crafting table that says shows here but yeah there you go you can just go ahead and craft and craft mini if you'd like and craft all your stuff up here um that you need so there's your shards um, your globs again for that you'll need your candy but for the mighty you know you just need your sturdy whetstone so we can make those as, as well with our sturdy quartzite shards so we make a couple of those and then there we'll be able to make our mighty globs now you can see there with our with our sturdy whetstone so that is pretty nice and then again for your supreme plating you need supreme marble shards so we can craft some of those and then same thing for these, we'd need, we can craft those with that Supreme Core set that we found. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, how you upgrade your tools and armor and get them all the way up to your max level. Again, this stuff is kind of hard to find. So my recommendation if is not to upgrade every weapon or tool, but just kind of focus on the ones you really like. Like typically I like the Spider Fang Dagger, um, Red Ant Club, it usually is my first first game weapon. I tend to use the Grout Lever Blade, but it hasn't been working out too good lately. <laughs> then once you move up, you know, you can kind of pick something higher like the little dagger or something like that and upgrade it because it's kind of become a kind of a grind trying to find all these resources so it's good to focus on just a certain set of armor same thing with your armor too armor weapons just focus on something that you really want to use and kind of go from there so hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope this is really helpful for some of the newer players that that are just getting in the ground and don't understand how the armor system works and if you guys did like the video please leave me a like if you're not subscribed you want to see more some more ground i do have a series going on right now 1.0 series so you can check that out on the channel uh, go on and subscribe, and with that, I will catch y'all next time. If you have any questions, also uh, leave them down in the comments. I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. So thanks, everyone. Have a good day.